getting to thinking here. I, I had to show off a little bit. Um, I love that music. And you all saw here the status of the thigh piece. I finally got the Mohawk style wall going. And I'm going to motivate myself to go outside and start the resin. I cut all my fiberglass already. Got my resin already set up. It's on the tripod. It's ready to go. And I want to take some time. See, the suit that I'm doing for this guy, for Pete in Japan, uh, what I want to do is I want to do a photo shoot with it when it's done before I send it off so we can add it to our portfolio. But I already sent him his helmet, and he loves it. So is his, uh, so is his squad or our platoon and stuff. But anyway, so I decided to make my own helmet to match the suit. That way, and it's not identical to his helmet, of course, but to match the suit, that way I can wear the helmet with the suit and call it a day. And this, this helmet is also going to go on display elsewhere uh, in a little store, I, I suppose, is going to go on display. And I want you all to see how I cleaned up. I don't know how well you can all see that. But I managed to clean the inside, paint the inside, used a very small motorcycle replacement pad. And this one's by, um, it's model V1 Pilot. So it's a medium, actually. That's kind of weird. It's really small, but it's a, it's a medium, and it's a uh, model V Pilot. And I'll get you the name in a second who I got it from, but they do fit my recons perfect. All right, and then I took the the foamy padding, and I made a stencil, and I covered with two pieces. I covered the entire front, covering up all the hot glue and the visor area and any of the imperfections of my cast when I was doing it and then one around the back which covers up more of the hot glue used to hold this padding in and um, yeah so there you have it, let me put this beast on real quick you would not believe you would not believe how well this helmet fits to my face I mean it, it is freaking perfect I mean it's like it's like the C, it's like my uh, the CQB going to bungee, okay, with the large padding, made it all fit really good. This padding inside here, uh, you know, we're talking freaking freaking frack here. We're talking like perfect fit. Uh, it's very comfortable, and I love it. I really do. This is a, an outstanding fit for a helmet mitt. Oh, good liner. Into my eyes, Luke. Luke, who's your daddy? Okay, so uh, I'm really liking the whole motorcycle helmet replacement liners for the. Does that trip you out when I do stuff like this? Is this freaky. Oh, oh no! I feel like I'm in one of those reality TV shows where they're running. I'm running away from the enemy. I'm running away. I got snot dripping from my nose. Okay. Anyway, it's enough of that. But you can see, where are you at? Oh, look at that baby sitting right there. Okay, Lee, well, guys are almost done their, their projects, their Porsche. Oh, shoot. No. No. Oh, there I am. Okay. So, long story short, update on the helmet. It's done. Um, I'm thinking about actually putting a uh, ship. Uh, I tried it once and it didn't turn out well. Um, uh, hello, I'm going crazy. I'm trying to think about doing a ship stencil for Soaring Hammer Incorporated Productions. Just like the Dare helmet, we, like we did. The stencil for Dare. Yeah, look at that. But, um, so yeah, there you go. This is, uh, Ithaca from 405th.com. Ooh, look at me. Look at me. I'm a recon. But this is, uh, Ithaca from SoaringHammer.com and 405th.com. And if we can do it, so can you. This is her dancing right here. See it? She's dancing. What you working on, love? My face? God, I'm handsome. 
No, tell us what you're working on. Fine. Mickey! Potatoes out. You said I'm working on a footrest. I know we do. I'm still working on it. It's got a couple more coats to go. But that's the mother mold to the thigh. As you can see, I'm still alive and kicking. I'm going to Chris's place tomorrow. So I'll be prepping tonight. My shell, very thin, very thorough shell for the thigh. It's the first one we're producing. It's going to be, uh, going to do a couple plastic ones first. And after that, I'm going to do a couple flex foam, flex foam it ones. For us, flex foam it. Here's my masterful skill of flex foaming. Okay, there's one, there's two. You gotta love these shins, because these shins you can get kicked at least a couple times with somebody. And it don't hurt, but now it's, these are really good because you get the bend, you get more mobility in them. Anyway, that's flex foaming shins. Uh, if you want flex foaming, contact me, to me, Con. Produces the plastic ones. I produce the flex filament ones. Does the wife want to actually watch me struggle with this thing? Oh she... yes. Be serious. Yep. Because you were all like, "Oh, it's easy. Just give it to me." It's not. First thing I'm gonna do is release all the edging, all the edges. Make sure we get as much. I'll release it from the rubber as possible. Stretch it out. Now walk it out. Oh, yeah. Peel back. Peel back like a, like a sock. S O C K S. Peel back. Let's see, I'm going to go this way with it. I'm going to peel back. Okay. Alright, that's good. 